I've made a huge mistake. Oh God. Just very interesting. True love etched right next to the uh, other things. On, I'm assuming this is Pedro. It's where true love comes, the public restrooms at uh, south of the border. Guess this is a little uh, dog park? Next to the restrooms? Yeah, that makes sense. A little doggy area so dogs can pee. Well, you got all kinds of things here. We got fireworks. We got a giant sombrero tower that also is an arcade and other things. Lots of fireworks. Fireworks. We got the El Toro video power pinball ski ball pool. There's a taco place. Tacos, quesadillas, burrito loco, nachos, just burritos, tacos, taco bowls, nachos and cheese, ice cold beer. You get it all here at Pedro's uh, Taco Place. No parking. You know, what don't they have at south of the border? Dignity. Let's see if there's any stickers that I know. Buckies. All right, yeah. Man, how do you get the stickers all the way up there? Let's drive around here because I don't feel like walking around. Why is it that I feel safer in Baltimore City than in the parking lot of south of the border? Look at that dog. There's a little dog barking at me. Inappropriate. Am I what? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, I've been I've been coming here for almost twenty years. I don't th I don't think I've ever seen it busier than this. Uh, it's just it's kind of a gimmick, so it kind of. It's, it's like a weird oddity staple thing. So people just kind of come here for a morbid curiosity. It's kind of, it's been here for, I don't even know how long, just 50 plus years. Yeah, who knows? Just, you can come see all the wildlife here at uh, south of the border, including chickens, more, uh, we'll, we'll say racist, racist stereotypes here. That's. Yeah, these guys. Pretty sure, well, I'm not pretty sure. I'm almost certain that uh, white people own this area. Hey, look, it's a dinosaur. And there's more of these uh, very harsh stereotypes. Just say, hey, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. It's a steakhouse in the shape of a sombrero. With two cattle out front. If they only knew what fate awaited them. Just so lifelike. Just so lifelike. Uh, not that guy though, don't, let's, let's not look at him. So apparently this place has been around for 50 years. How does it make money? Honestly, I just want to know. This place is called Pedro's Pleasure Dome. No. Ah, the classic Mexico shop. They're just kind of going by the honor system here, which I respect.
Does anyone want any of these postcards? Let me know. And I'll get you some. And then I'll send them to you if you want. And then I just pay for them right here. Hmm. Jesus. Dan and I just made a video on these guys. some last-minute Halloween decorations if anybody is interested. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I did find something beautiful here for once at south of the border. It was that statue back there. Very cool. Hopefully some local artist made it. But this is just crap. What? There's children here. that word my god why I can't I can't even look at it I, can't even. I looked at it and uh, now I'm part of the problem okay these are okay a little more tasteful cheaply made but a little more tasteful right classy we like class good God, why? This is out of control in here. <laughs> oh my God. I have to blur this too. There's just a lot of curse words on that t-shirt. Come into south of the border and get demonetized. Some of these are cool, right? That's a good one. Those, not so much. Oh no, that's cool. These are cool. Oh, wow. Oh, also very cool. So, I mean, you'll find some good stuff in here. It's just, you'll find a lot of uh, inappropriate things as well. Those are pretty. One little thing I appreciate about the Mexico shop, no music blasting. It's kind of quiet in here, it's nice. I can live with my own thoughts. Although it's some of these thoughts are, we should burn this place to the ground, but at least I'm not getting bombarded with music at all times. Yep, just keep going at it with this crap. What, what is this? Is this a magnet? I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I might want to get this. If I can find one that's not completely scratched up. 
It's between either this or the one with the, uh, the butt. It's hard to figure out which one is the best one to pick because most of them are all scratched up, but I think we found a winner. Yes, I am doing it. Get your socks. More socks. Little hats. What do the little hats go on to? I don't, I don't that, that wasn't, that didn't feel good. For real? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Is that? Well, they had a $10 minimum for credit cards, which it's 2023, why are we still doing that? So I had to use my last bit of cash to buy this magnet. And I have a feeling using that last bit of cash is going to come back and bite me in the ass later down the road on this trip. So Mexico shop, I bid you adieu. I will save this receipt for tax purposes. What in the world was I thinking? Why did I buy this? I don't need this. <laughs> Look at this wiener dog. This wiener hot dog hamburger guy. <laughs> ah, it gets me every time. So long, south of the border. Bye-bye. Gotta go fast now. I'm on the highway. You're in the distance, south of the border, and I shall never return until later this week. <laughs>